Hey, welcome back everyone, Lydia Bun here. And we're going to be opening up some more Pokemon packs today because I have a ton of these cards and we need to get rid of them. So today we're going to be doing celebrations and it's all celebrations. I got a, I got a pretty good stack of celebrations here. And last time I mentioned that I have a story with celebrations and well, I'm going to tell that story. The story is basically one day we decided to grab a, a few packs of these celebrations and this is a core moment by the way we talk about this moment a lot and the moment is we pulled the charizard it was amazing you know it's not it's it pretty much it's a copy of the original charizard it's just a reprint but it's still amazing to have you know and we also pulled the you know the venusaur and the uh and the Blastoise as well. And we pulled off, pulled a bunch of other things, amazing cards from the set as well. It's one of our more prized collections. But it's not much of a story just to say, hey, we pulled the Charizard and it was an amazing moment. I can't explain enough how amazing of a moment it was. But hey, let's let's get to opening some packs. All right. So, a funny thing about celebrations, there's only like five or four cards in each pack, so this is going to go by really quick. Now, there's a mixture of cards in each set. They're all basically legendaries, and they have these little Pikachu faces on it. Isn't that awesome? We got the rocket, and... Ah, we got a Mew! Nice. Yeah, see, it's all... Really fancy stuff, old cards. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun one. There's even a full art ver version of the Pokemon Research or Professor Research. So we're gonna be looking for that. Hey, Fat Pikachu! Good to see ya. We're probably gonna get, be getting a lot of those, and we're gonna get a lot of copies of all these guys. Oh, nice. This is a good one. And Fat Pikachu. See what I say? There's a lot. There's not a lot of cards in this, and I don't think. Yeah, uh. I think that is his 25 max cards in this set. There's a bunch of secret rares, of course. But. Yeah, there's only four. Yeah, let's see, another Mew. Look at that. But there are some big ones in this, in these packs. Some big ones we want. Another professor research, that's always fun. Come on. Oh, okay, that's not bad. There it is. One Venusaur, baby. This is the classic Venusaur. Ah, uh, I missed you, buddy. And Surfing Pikachu. We have a lot to go through today. <laughs> Okay. I think we got a good amount of cards here. I'm mostly happy about the... <laughs> One thing I'm really happy about is to get these back, because I am definitely low on these points. These points you can use to buy cards and buy copies of cards. But I'm really happy to pull this. Look at this boy. Look at this happy boy. Uh... Uh, power. Pokemon power. Energy trans. As often as you like during your turn before it, before you attack, of course, because when you attack your turn ends. You may take one energy attached to one of your Pokemon and attach it to a different one. This power can't... Okay, that's actually really powerful. I like that. On to the next set. Alright, next 10. Let's get it going. See, all these guys, we're going to get so many copies for. Like, yeah, they're legendaries and they're cool. Fat Pikachu. Um, <laughs> we're, we're going to get a ton of them. Fat Pikachu. <laughs> That's all I got to say, just Fat Pikachu. That's all we're getting is Fat Pikachu. Oh! They're from Pikachu V Max. A little upper in scale than Fat Pikachu, but you know. 
<laughs> there it is, the shiny Mew. Heck yes. Ah. Uh, looks great. Ah, uh, Pikachu. <laughs> We're getting a ton of points, and I'm going to be using those points to make better decks. Okay. Start from Pikachu V. All right, we got the whole set. Nice. Got another copy. That's always nice. Once we get four copies, they'll start giving me points. Like that. Bad Pikachu. Birthday Pikachu! There we go. You get the... This is something you would give someone and you write down their name right here. And you'll say, Pikachu birthday. Yay! Birthday surprise. If it is not your birthday, this attack does 30 damage. If it is your birthday, flip a coin. If it's... Hey, is this tag does 30 damage plus 50 more damage. If Tails is does 30 damage. That's hilarious. And there's Mew. That's the basic Mew. Alright. If anything from this set, Shiny Mew. Shiny Mew takes the cake. Look at that boy. Girl. It. Them. I think it's a them. I, don't know, I forgot about Pokemon lore. Anyways. Let's get to the next set. All right, let's get going. Yeah, I've been having to type in all of this stuff. Ooh, Rocket Zapdos. Always fun to see. I think it's the third that's always the rare. And the last one's kind of like a random. No? I have no idea anymore. Never mind. Ignore what I said. A Lugia. Always fun. Another VMAX. Fat Pikachu. We always love to see it. I'm actually not that upset that there is Fat Pikachus coming out because I need these so bad. So this video is almost a reason just to get more points. Another Professor Research. Like, right now, after this video, I have, like, 2,000 points. I'm... Ooh, Guard Chump C level X, or 10. That is awesome. We'll look at that here in a second. I don't think we pulled that either, so that's a new one for me. We may have pulled it. I'm not sure. <gasps> you got the Charizard. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got it. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this boy. We got the Charizard. Ah, uh, the classic Charizard. You love to see it. All right. One more pack. Well, this video is over. <laughs> All right. What does this one do? Once during your turn, before you attack, when guard time. From your hand, activate Garden Trap C. Oh, you need your Guard Trump C. Oh, you need a Guard Trump C. Okay, I get it. So it's like a weird level up mechanic. And here's the Charizard. That's also as you like during your turn. Before you attack, you may turn all energy attached to Charizard into fire. That's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. I think... I think the other guy was better. Alright. Let's go on to the next set. That is... That is awesome that we pulled that. I am happy with that. Alright, next 10. Let's get it going. Hey, we, we just need that Blastoise. Not gonna lie, I'm hoping for a Blast... Did we just get two in a row? Alright, whatever. Blastoise, come on, baby. We got another baby. Nice. I'm happy with that. Fully, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but 
It's awesome. Hey, Pikachu's birthday. We need that Zycan. We didn't pull Zycan yet. So I'm happy with that one. Come on, baby. You know you want to give me so another shiny Mew. Okay. Can't complain about a shiny Mew. Umbreon, hey! Got another new one. This is going by really fast. But it is going to be a little bit of a shorter... Ooh! Flying Pikachu V Max. Here we go. I think that was our first pull for Flying Pikachu v There he is! The boy of the Oh, we got all three. I'm happy. I'm done. This video is over. Nah, moving on to see that's just awesome. Uh this this pack set is definitely the Umbreon and another Blastoise. Okay, I accidentally clicked through it, but we got two. And finish it off with Azama Zenta. I'm always afraid to try and pronounce that one. But yeah, we got another shiny Mew. Blastoise. And this Umbreon. As you like during your turn, you may attach one water energy to one of your Pokemon. Wait, as often as you like, you may attach one energy card to one of your Pokemon. That is pretty good. Uh, pa Poke Power. Okay, that's a thing. You can't have more than one Pokemon Star in your deck, really. That's kind of cool. It's like your boss mon. Once during your turn, when you put Umbreon Star into your hand and onto your bench, you may choose one card from your opponent's hand without. That's that's all right. That's pretty good. Okay, let's continue. Next set. All right, we're on our way to 50 packs. So let's go. Now, like I said, most... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, most of these are going to be copies. Not this hit, not this one. Because, like I said before, there's not a lot of different cards in this set. There's only a select few. Like, all of them are technically big guys. Like, they're all technically rares. But... At the same time. Oh. Being Magma's Crown on. That's actually really cool. Okay. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, but there, a lot of them are just reprinted over and over again. So you're just gonna get bloated with all these extra copies. Like with Professor's Research. I was hoping for the full art. Bad Pikachu, let's go. We'd love to see it. Okay, another one. Doesn't hurt. I know that's a legendary, but I don't know much about that legendary. Professor's research. Why not? Hey, Blind Pikachu V. We'd love to see it. We're having fun. Never mind. <laughs> Just never mind. Umbreon, cool. Bad Pikachu, alright. And that's it. I will say the star of this set. This boy right here. Look at him. Oh yeah, there's only like 95 cards in the set. Usually there's like 170, 190 cards in a set, and this one's very tiny. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, we're on our way to 60. After this, there's just... Five more packs to go. And funny enough, but which means my, my girlfriend took the other 65 codes to herself. So, we split the packs in half, if you remember me mentioning that last time. 
Okay, and nothing new. All right, we're just looking for stuff that's new. Come on, baby. Show me the good stuff. Oh! Tapu Lele GX. That's pretty cool. All oh, the full R professor research. That's what we wanted. That's awesome. All right. We got a Mew. Another Blastoise. We'll take it. And anything extra? It's kind of lagging a little. Probably because I'm recording as well. It is a new program. This game, I mean. Newer, I should say. Dark Professor Oak. I didn't really look at that before, but we got Dark Professor Oak. That's a new poll. And that's it for this set. I will say Tapu Lele is our big one. This wonder tag and heal all damage from two of your bench book. Heal all damage. Oh my god. You cannot use more than one GX attack in game. Okay. That's awesome. I like that. That's an amazing move. That just resets everything. And the full art professor research. Amazing. Yeah, this is the symbol for the set, and there's only 25 cards in the set, plus a few secrets. That's awesome. Alright, last five packs, and they'll lead us to 65 pack openings this let's go around. Let's see what we let's see if we get anything new. That's our biggest thing. We just want something new. Another Venusaur baby. Nice. And... Mom, you... Anything... Another Venusaur baby. We got four out of four. Nice, full V Max. That was our last possible V Max for that. Ah, oh, Fat Pikachu. We haven't seen you for a bit, but we we missed you. Oh, that's it. All right. Did we really just pull two Venusaurs out of that last five? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That was everything. That's all the celebrations. Yeah, that was that was pretty fun to go through. It was good fun to good fun to experience that again. Plus, we got all the major, you know, you know, Gen One starters, you know, fully evolved, which is always nice to see. But uh, yeah, I think the video is going to be a little short. I'm gonna let's play a game. Why not? Those of you that are part of my little community and never really seen a Pokemon game, let's play a Pokemon game. Why not? This is my, what I call a Meow Meow deck. It mainly plays with, uh, messing with the opponent back and forth. And you'll see what I mean. If we can get the deck rolling, we, we might lose. There's always a good chance we'll lose. Oh wow, the, I'm actually, this is my first PC game and it actually looks a lot different. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I mainly play on my phone, just to relax. Opponent's flipping the coin. For this deck, I usually like to go second, honestly. You want to go first? No, I do not. Because my deck prefers to go first to get energy, not to attack. Uh, we didn't pull any starters, so that's going to be a mulligan for us. Hopefully we can get a good starting hand. 
Are they putting something on the bench? Nope, nothing on the bench. So you have your starter Pokemon up on front and your bench Pokemon. Kind of like how in uh, Pokemon you have one Pokemon on the field and the rest in your pocket. Uh, that's a starter. All right. Oh, that's smooth, actually. That's pretty smooth. All right, we have two Great Balls, which we can utilize, and three Energy. And you need Energy to play abilities. Actually, this feels really smooth on PC. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is my first time playing on PC. Hopefully, I do well. We're about to see what his Pokemon is. I think he had... I don't think he had a bullet guy. I think he's just thinking right now. Yeah, we're about the Great Ball, which allows us to look for a Pokemon. Alright, it's a... This could mean anything. There's a lot of starter decks in the game that have this Pokemon, the, Grin the Radiant Greninja. The Net Ball will tell us what the deck they're using. The Fighting Deck, okay. This might be either their Fighting Deck or the a revamped of the starter deck. So I don't know what to expect. But he's definitely trying to get something out with the Ryu. Sending out the Ryu, okay. So you can only play one energy per turn. Throwing away energy to draw two. Can he do anything else? Pickaxe. Which I think is... Yeah, you, uh, you dig for an energy in your deck, the top card. We're gonna try to pull something. Ah, oh, this is all good. Damn, but we need, uh, we're gonna grab this. Our little NDD. We'll do Great Ball again. There we go. We're gonna place the energy down, and we're gonna end our turn. Yeah, as I saying that we can do a move, but our our only move that we could do right now is heal 30. He hasn't attacked yet. We didn't draw any search engines besides the Great Balls. We There's a lot of cards in this deck that uh, allow us to search, draw, other things like that. What I could do is withdraw to get NDD out so we can start drawing more cards. Because we have enough energy. I'm not worried about our energy right now. That's probably what we're going to do, is uh, withdraw and start drawing. Because their draw game right now is intense, and we need to keep up with it. Okay, that's going to set up their, uh, shuffle their hand, essentially. Essentially, uh, there's a form after this. That's going to allow them to... See, that's just an energy shirt. We really don't need that, so what we're going to do... We're going to discard an energy, retreat, pull this out, start drawing. There we go. Our energy is crazy right now. We have too much, but we're going to keep drawing. That's essentially what we're going to just keep drawing. It's our, we'll just keep placing energy now. There is the... Oh, I forgot what the card's name is. It allows us to draw two and place a, two energy down to our bench Pokemon, which will help us set up. You might as well set up the Spur... Spurigurito. To uh, be an attacker for later on as well. Which, this one, I have set up that we only need two energy. And then the final form needs two energy as well. Forcing the exchange. Um, this this got all energy from this Pokemon. It does 60 more damage. Oh, that's rough. We're gonna have to take that. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. Is six one twenty. He's dealing twenty damage to. That's fine. We might just keep them out on the field. I can't really, unless we pour pull the uh, the V Max. No, yeah, it's the V Max. I think. 
that I have in the deck and allow us to retreat for free. Yeah, that hurts. Hmm. I might just retreat. Yeah, I might just retreat. Can't really fight that. There we go. Add some more stuff we needed. Alright, we're in the game. A jock is allows to grab the evolved form of a Pokemon. Which we're going to grab this one's evolved form. And allow us to start playing around with the field. Forcing the draw in, that's fine. Because we can start playing around too. Getting that energy on. They just need one more energy and they can attack again and kill it. Which is not the worst thing if Superior dies. Or not dies, you know, faints, whatever. It's not the worst thing. They're looking for an energy. Did they pull an energy? Nope, but an XP share. I'll do it. Hmm, what we need... There is a certain card we need right now. There is definitely a specific card we need. Yep, pulling that energy. The barrier is going down. Which is fine. They're wasting energies right now. Because they have to disc discard to deal damage. Yeah, look at all those energies. So right now we're doing well because we were able to take two attacks from Aura Sphere. They might have um, retrieval. You know, be able to retrieve like energy retrieval like this one. But we're fine. Um. Yeah. We won't have... The setup ready. But we can definitely scare a little with another superior V. And that's the superior VMAX as well. I'm putting this down just so that they know, hey, you won't be able to one-shot this. I'm gonna grab an energy. I'm gonna use the special ability to discard a green energy, grass energy, to deal 30 damage to something on their bench. And this is a setup for later. Because their attack does 120 more damage if they're already injured. Now, I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff. Oh, there they are! God damn! Alright, we're set up now. <laughs> I've been looking for that card forever. That's the card I was talking about that allows you to basically set up and draw two. But we don't need an ED on the field anymore. Gonna get that energy on. I think that pulls from your discard. Yeah, no, it's from your deck. Oh, you're just discarding more energy. So we... Oh, no. Okay. If you want. Are you sure? Okay. You're not gonna be able to kill him. But you're going to deal a bit of damage. I don't think they're mathing this right. What does this armor do? I'm trying to read what that armor does. Give me a sec.
Actually, I can play around with this. This is actually a 100 IQ move here. So we're going to place an energy on here, definitely. We're going to play this. Draw two energy. Place energy on here for free. I messed up a little bit. That's not bad. But we're going to set up this to be a nuke. Discard an energy. And we'll do 30 more damage to something else. We win a prize card. Another boss's orders. We'll have more control of the field. This 220 is scary. But I think the... Nope, okay. So this is what our what we're scared of right now. And we're gonna try to get rid of this next turn by using boss's orders, which will allow us to switch out their active with their bench. And we get get to control what comes out. So Yeah, I think we got this in the bag. Because they're all damaged right now besides their radiant uh for ninja. Moving attach cards. That's fine. But he ended his turn. That's his mistake. Go ahead and put you down just in case. It never hurts to have enough blockers. So we're going to set up again. Pop. Pop. More energy. More power. Oh fuck. I messed up a bit. No we don't need that. We meant to use boss's orders since we use that, we can't do that. It's 220. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna retreat. Yeah, I mean they're definitely setting up to kill next turn. Probably shouldn't have attacked, but that's fine. Another boss's orders? We'll just have more control of the field. So they're gonna deal 220 no matter what. But they won't be able to attack next turn. But we'll he'll be dead next turn. And our V-Star power is gonna deal 60 plus every energy attached. So that's a one shot. It also would have been a one shot with Meow's Grade as well because of the Scratching Nails ability. That's a... Uh... Okay, that's not bad. Take 20 less damage, okay. That's still not enough, but we'll take it. Pickaxe. Got running shoes. They're going to draw with the running shoes. I like how we did. They're definitely searching for something. They definitely need something. And if it's energy, it might... They might not have energy because... Well, they burned a lot of their energy. There we go. They got an energy. Nice. Good for them. Retreating did hurt my energy, but... Ooh, that hurt. That was a spicy. Alright, so energy-wise, I might use this to set up... Hmm. Actually, what should we do here? Yeah, we definitely need to V-Star this. Yes, that's fine. And we're going to switch out this. We're going to start drawing again. 
the V Star movement allowed us to switch out for free, which is a nice little bonus. This card is stadium to play if they attack with this, so they lose their defense bonus. So that's kind of wasteful if they attack. Thinking. I think we got this in the bag. Another Ryu. We don't want that to come out. We don't want this to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. That'd be seven. Eight. No, that'd be six if I do that combo. Plus, we'll be drawing a card next turn. So, essentially what I'm counting here is ND has an attack that says deal damage for every card in your hand. 10, 10 damage for every card. I was just mathing if we can take out Rylu next turn, and we can. We can definitely take out Rylu. You're about to dick yourself. Be careful. You only have 11 more cards in your, in your deck. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's worrisome. That's a little worrisome. Hmm. Okay, so we need another setup. Ooh, 40. Oh, right, it's a basic, I forgot. That's fine. Um... We can't do that. We can afford to lose superior. We can afford. Because that's only two points worth, I think. There it is. Alright, cool. Nice, this is actually what we wanted. That's actually perfect. Everything's coming together. <laughs> and then... Because this wouldn't kill, or the regular blender wouldn't kill, we'll retreat. Ah, oh, shoot. I just realized I messed up. <laughs> I just realized I messed up. Um... Shoot, I really messed up there, didn't I? Um, okay, I went ahead of myself there. That's fine. That's fine. He can't do much. I control the field right now. That was perfect. And we control the field again. So it's not the worst possible move, but I messed up my combo because I used my support card, uh, Gardena's, uh, Vigor. Because if you use that, you can't use another, uh, trainer supporter card like the, these do. You can only use one of these per turn, but you can use as many items as you want, and that's what I keep confusing on. This will do two... This won't, this won't do enough to uh, take out, but if we get to next turn, we win. Because I can just switch out with this, uh, Kor... Kor... Koraidon? Koraidon? I'm gonna butcher all these names, don't mind me. But we can switch out with this and in, because that's... That's two victory points. Two prize points, and we only have two left, so we would win. So I think I got this game in the bag, unless he pulls us out something crazy right now. 
but I don't think he can because he doesn't have energy. I think this is GG. I can't say that it is GG, but it's a very good possible chance for a GG. He's thinking. They're thinking. They might just give up. Honestly, this is a good chance to concede. Because I've been... Oh, Dino Cry? Okay. Now, I don't think I've used a boss's order yet. I have not, so they don't know I have boss's order. Cool. This is a guaranteed kill, I believe. One, two, 220. Yeah, this is a win. So, I'm gonna say GG. Yeah, that's a GG. That's two points. I messed up a few times, but we got it. This was... this was fun. I hope you all enjoyed the little game at the end. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and love you. Bye-bye now.